Now to this week's edition of Ask Ellen. Let's get right into it. Kevin wants to know, these dry conditions, are they going to affect fall foliage this Such year? Such a good question. Yes. And I'm sure you've probably already noticed that we're starting to see some of those leaves, like fall even, Just on Saturday. Just getting started. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So what causes a great show? What causes leaf drop, etc.? Remember with me, if you will, that when it comes to fall foliage, it's primarily a daylight change response. That's why it happens every fall. As we get shorter and shorter daylight days, the leaves respond by changing color. The trees say, mm, I'm not gonna support you through the winter. I can tell winter's coming. So they pull their energy from the leaves, they keep it in the main tree, and then the leaves fall to the ground. So every year we will see some sort of fall foliage in West Michigan. The vibrancy, and the leaf drop are what's dependent on the weather. So what makes for a good show? Usually we've seen when we have, of course, vibrant color, that's like kind of a gimme, right? Mm -hmm. Uniform peak time. There are always going to be some trees that peak early, mm -hmm. but if you can get almost all of them like changing at the same time in that pristine window, oh my goodness, it makes for like a lovely show. We also want low leaf drop, lack of wind storms, and lack of a hard freeze. We have had years where it's like, not just frost, but like hard freeze and all the trees, like the leaves just like turn like brown and black and shows fall. over yeah. <laughs> exactly that's it we just jumped to the finish line so what helps these fall colors change in a good way we want sunny days we want near average temperatures cool clear nights lack of storms and near average rainfall this year we have not seen near average temperatures and we've not seen near average rainfall in fact i think the rainfall is going to be one of the bigger things out of the two i mean we always see temperature fluctuations each season but our drought monitor is showing those abnormally dry conditions. And when you have drought, you'll see spotty change, early and muted colors, and a lot of tree species, and early leaf drop. We're already experiencing that. So when you have the leaves already dropping from the trees, then it just doesn't save any for the peak fall season. Mm -hmm. So here's when call fall colors typically peak, early October for the UP, mid-October for northern lower, late October for us here in West Michigan, early November for a good portion close to the Indiana state line. So I just want to leave you with this last note, Duncan. Mm -hmm. There is still hope. Yes. In the fall, we oftentimes see a lot of rain, big soaker systems. So if we can get some of those by the time we finish out September, then we can still save our fall color shows. There's still time to make it up West Michigan. <laughs> there is hope. Dust exactly. off your rain dances. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, I love a little hope at the end of the show. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. You gotta you gotta wiggle it in when you can. Yes. Eight day forecast, it's gonna be very warm, of course. That usually delays fall colors just a bit. And here's that map for you again if you guys are just planning on when you should take your fall color tour around West Michigan. That's it. Good night.